thesis topic international exhibition and convention center and experiential event space submitted by nayantara roshan the aim of the project is to bridge the gap between different user groups like students delegates and professionals by designing a single platform capable of accommodating versatile functions and stimulates resourceful interaction architecture that connects people flexibility connectivity and community are the three main parameters which are focused the objective of the project is to understand and design the center with multiple or versatile spaces to accommodate all types of events with an impressive balance of interactive spaces which will develop the overall working of the convention center the space that meets the need kinfra has put forward a proposal for instituting an international exhibition and convention center in kakinad kochi why kochi kochi is to be a hub of mice industry mice an acronym for meeting incentives convention and exhibition in tourism segment convention centers receive guests from local national and international markets which depends upon the type of events that are hosted the delegates the exhibitors the staff and the visitors an event is social and stimulating and so the convention center in which they are held are becoming more resourceful and flexible every area within the facility is beginning to be viewed as a potential learning space that can encourage connection and community the parameters to be considered while designing are one making flexibility a priority two centers are an extension of destination three public areas for public discourse four healthy and stimulating plan five neighborhood development plan the design should include three concepts of design open plan cluster and courtyard The type of activities are trade conventions, professional conventions, seminars, and exhibitions. In short, here are six types of spaces which are to be included in designing a convention: one, individual pods; two, group learning space; three, presentation space; four, display space; five, project space; and six, breakout space. The location of the site, 41 acre land, is in Kusumagiri, Kakinad, main land near to Info Park Development Phase Two. local area analysis the site can be accessed by different modes of transportation both public and private where all the necessary requirements can be reached within a 5 km radius airport and railway station within a 20 km radius market area analysis states that it would be the future development area near the site which is the info park phase 2 development and water metro The site is located in a commercial zone with a negligible contour level less than 1 meter thereby taken as a flat land road network the northern side of the site lies in the primary road which is the info park express way which connects to the seaport airport road movement bus service and metro rail service is available in front of the site land use info park lies within a 1 km distance which is a major it hub where majority of users are expected green spaces There is very less vegetation on the site and in the neighborhood where the rest of the area is a busy commercial zone. Major attractions of the site. The site is located adjacent to the IT hub info park which is a major development area where the majority of the user group is expected for the site. The site also lies adjacent to the Rajagiri campus in the northern side. Within a 5 km radius different accommodation facilities and modes of transportation is also available. micro level study sunbath the orientation of the site is in the north south axis which receives maximum sunlight and wind circulation the circulation is possible from several points as the site is abutting the road on all three sides which helps to handle traffic vegetation there is currently very less vegetation within the site with cluster of acacia and tar leaves sort analysis strength accessibility Availability of various transportation facilities makes the site easily accessible to public. The site is abutting the road on all sides which helps to connect the major nodes and junctions. Site context. Context of site mainly acts as an industrial development area which is the key for commerce. Immediate context. Within a 5 km different accommodation facilities and modes of transportation is available. Weakness. Groundwater. The site is a flat land with negligible contour and lies in a low lying area which can cause flooding during the time of rain waste disposal the site is located near the brahmapura lake which is currently a large waste disposal zone for industries and public opportunity site context the site is located adjacent to the it hub commercial street and institution where there is a wide range of user group 
threat traffic due to the wide range of event and scale of the project there may be traffic problem in the northern artery road design strategies the key concept of the project is to connect users context and building this is done by bringing connection between the private and public meeting zone by creating common sharing spaces as thresholds common sharing space here is taken as a green belt which separates the private and public zone the private zone consists of administration area accommodation for and food for vip and executive zone with meeting and conference rooms the public sector is split into three zones that is student zone exhibition zone and multi purpose halls the circulation planning is done in two methods radial pattern and channel the design is to be transparent with both inward and outward looking designs passive design techniques are also opted to reduce the power consumption of the large project with high activity level during peak hours the evolution of design multiple access is provided to the site from the major abutting road for various user groups two major entry points are placed in north and south side with focal point placed central the green belt splits private to north side and public to south side with multiple access circulation is worked out within public and private zones Built height increases from north to south with respect to the typology of events. Open space courtyards are worked within the private and public areas respectively. At present, the site lies adjacent to the Info Park Development Area, which is the major node. The site abuts the road in three sides, where Info Park Expressway is in the northern side. The site can be accessed from north and south sides by two major junctions: Junction One and Junction Two. The site is surrounded by the commercial development and other accommodation facilities. In the southern side of the site is the Kadambaya River, where thick vegetation is present in the southeast part of the site. In future, by the establishment of the project, this junction lying in the northern part of the site develops as a major node for transportation and also will act as a landmark. The road in between the commercial plot will develop as a service entry to the site. Due to the proposal of the Water Metro. by a kadambaria river the junction 2 will develop as a major node for my metro station the southern portion of the site will be developed as a waterfront area with respect to the water metro purpose concept development the key concept is to create interactive spaces through a radial pattern by creating a focal point at the center a green space which then segregates radially to a smaller courtyards where different functional blocks are connected The building spaces is designed as a transition from semi open to open to closed spaces. This convention center has two main entrances in north and south with VIP entrance in the north side adjacent to the service entry. zoning phase 1 executive phase 2 educational phase 3 exhibition and phase 4 service interactive spaces Here the framework has been designed in three different typology of courtyards. One, open plan typology. Here spaces for small groups are arranged around large group of installation area. Two, campus typology. The general approach for this is where different typology of functions are grouped together and located in different blocks. Three, courtyard typology. Here built and open spaces where different functional spaces are arranged around different courtyards in a linear pattern connected by semi open corridors
design moves. 1. Mixed functional groups. Each cluster consists of different functions split out into shared open spaces and closed spaces. 2. Universal accessibility. The major circulation of the project is in a loop system with the primary loop connected to secondary loop by semi-open spaces and courtyards. 3. Response to climate. North-south orientation of the spine and well-connected system of corridors create shaded spaces. The positioning of rooms allows breeze to blow through the east-west corridors which are breathing walls. 4. Importance of nature. The large green space is a landscaped area which accommodates space for a variety of functions like open exhibition ground, flea market, insulation space, dining space and even water body. 5. Organization of learning spaces. The blocks are arranged in a linear pattern connected by separate courtyards for each block in an axis which provides visual connection among different functional blocks. 6. Flexibility. Partitions could be set in any order within the flexible spaces according to the event to be conducted. The circulation of the project is developed in a loop pattern around the green space which is the main core of the project. Central circulation pathways are designed leaving the edges for halls and other rooms for view and ventilation reducing air conditioned space. The circulation path is in a loop form also connecting to the courtyards creating a transition from closed to semi-open to open spaces. The central loop is completely pedestrianized where the vehicular access is restricted at the edges of the site. Off street and basement parking facilities are provided where over 2,000 for four wheelers and 250 for two wheelers. Activity study. Build spaces with different functions have respective quotas for various typology of events. User study. The strength of user population increases from north to south from phase 1, 2, 3 and 4. As the intensity of activity level increases from north to south, the building height and area increases respectively from 3 meter to 4.5 to 6 meter and to 12 meter ceiling height. Northern site has controlled access compared to southern part with public events. The intermediate area of the site consists of the large green space which becomes the center of focus for all the users accommodating a large crowd with open events. The administrative block is located in the northern part of the site access to the northwest entrance gate with front office, back office, meeting rooms for staff and a cafe. The executive zone consists of meeting rooms which can accommodate 4 to 12 persons, conference room for 20 and banquet hall for 150 persons. This zone is completely air-conditioned and in a closed form to provide privacy. The student zone is designed for intellectual students providing a platform to exhibit and discuss their works with the professionals. The zone consists of classroom, learning spaces, meeting rooms, exhibition spaces and an open amphitheater. The restaurant block and student zone is located in between the meeting rooms and multi-purpose halls which is accessed through main lobby and through courtyard. It also has seating capacity for 240 people. The exhibition block is designed with multi-purpose halls, thinking pots and retail store. 
Visitors can book these multi-purpose halls according to the availability and size of the halls. The halls can be partitioned into various arrangements according to the type of the facility. The room is located in the southern part of the entrance adjacent to the gallery which has 1500 seating capacity and the space under the seating rack is used as a cafe for AT. The auditorium also has facilities for performers and additional block adjacent to it consists of green rooms and pantry space. The auditorium is located in the northern part of the entrance adjacent to the admin which has 950 seating and 215 for VIP. This auditorium seating rank is also below the ground level with a difference of 2 meters. The food court is provided with 3 entrances located at the very center of the site for every user can access. It lies facing the central green space and the flea market where it is considered to be the most active part of the whole convention center. The gallery is located in the southern entrance of the site which is designed using different floor levels where each section of floor is used as an exhibition space. The gallery has floors up to 10.5 meter high where each floor is raised by 1.5 meter from subsequent floors. The multi-purpose hall is located in the southern portion of the site which consists of two large halls which can be partitioned into various formations according to the type of Landscape. The courtyards are arranged around the green belt, which are categorized as public and private according to the functionality of blocks and events hosted. Each courtyard has their distinctive type of vegetation, hardscape and softscape according to the typology.